This is the Mariah Report. News, pop culture, and all things Mariah Carey. Hey, welcome back. It's the Mariah Report. Hey, Dan. Hello, Martin. Here we are, another week at the Mariah Report. We got slim news this week, but we got good things coming up ahead. So Exactly. We have traveled yeah. back to the present day from our back in time moment. Here we are. Here we are. Yes, last week was a great episode because I think a lot of the listeners went back and got into those butterfly EPs and yeah. were loving it. And that's what I'm all about. So much jamming fun. Out. Yes, jamming out. Yes. And... Um, oh. Also, a quick a little housekeeping for the listeners. So uh-huh. some of you might listen to us as soon as we post the episodes, which is Friday midnight, Friday, I guess, or um, Thursday midnight, technically. We are now releasing the episodes Friday evenings. It just gives us a little more time to edit the show and get it together a little bit better. Um, so if you notice Switch, that's what's going on. Yes, because I think we never told them that. But yeah. <laughs> now so they just know. in case you're wondering, that's so what's it's up. coming. It's just coming a little bit later. So yeah. we are still here for you guys. Yeah. Um, so, yes. But speaking of MC30, I say let's just get into it. I mean, there's not much to talk about this week. You just let's get into it. Yeah. Um, Mariah was on social media today giving a ha- happy anniversary shout out to the Unplugged album. Right. And she hashtagged MC30 on it. Has anybody told her? I'm like, girl, first of all, did she listen to last, last week's episode? Yeah. I hope she did. <laughs> hey, Mariah. It's MC32. How you doing? <laughs> um, but I'm a little confused at it because I was like, well, don't we already have the MTV Unplugged? She just, okay. up- tell me more. No, but so the the video that she posted had the MC30 treatment. Like it had the new titles that looked HD. Yeah, they ran it through the machine, but then I went to go look for it on YouTube, and I didn't see any MC30 MTV Unplugged releases, and it's just the regular MTV Unplugged on Spotify. Yeah, and I was like, well, when I went to click on the video, um, it looked regular quality to me. I was like, this, but it was her official YouTube video, so I'm Mm. like, what? I don't, I don't see it, so I'm confused. I'm confused too. I don't know what's maybe, going on. Maybe she's maybe maybe she posted this a little too soon and it's coming. But it's also not coming because it's not MC30 anymore. <laughs> I, I that's what I'm saying. Maybe they were supposed to do it, but it never got released, and no one told her. Could be, could be, and she's like, "Wait a minute, nobody did that." I don't know. It it is celebrating its anniversary, so I guess we can just you know be happy for that. Because let me tell you, the MTV Unplugged is amazing. Oh, love. It's great. Oh, it is. Absolutely. Um, we do the have best. a Back in Time episode about it, too. We do. And it also has my favorite, one of the best live performances of Can't Let Go. Oh, absolutely. I love them all. I love all of them. Mm-hmm. Love it. Is it good emotions on there? Girl, all the high notes. Yeah. Well, that is, you know, when she posted it on Instagram, she posted like sort of like a long letter about it and, you know, all that kind of stuff, which was really sweet because she was saying, you know, she was like, you know, a young, you know, timid, shy little girl. And it was just great to be out there connecting with like, you know, true fans. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we, we love that. We love a good Mariah moment with the fans. And nice to see her embrace that too, because I feel like I think before the book release, she was sort of like dreaded looking at her younger self. Well, yes. I mean, I have that same complex, but... Well, yes. But it's nice to see her. No, but we love the younger Mariah, so it's nice yes, to see, see her also join in. No, that. it's good. It is good. Um, so I guess, yeah, there we have it. A little um, extra love for the Unplugged. So we appreciate that. Yeah, but confused as well. Yeah, slightly confused, but whatever it is, we'll take it. It's fine. I'm not sure what it is, but I mean... <laughs> It was a good. It was a good post. It was great. A great Instagram I'm, moment. <laughs> girl, it looks good to me right here on the Insta. All right. Yeah, because it just has it has the MC30 titles. Like it's gonna like in the MC30 days when MC30 was happening, she would post one of those little videos with that titling and those graphics, and then we'll get yeah. the release, you know, on YouTube or whatever. 
Yeah, but I mean, she didn't release anything for Unplugged and MC30 for like any streaming because we already have it all, right? We had it, yeah. So I think this is just, it's supposed to be, you know, remastered in high def. But I, I did not see that. Maybe no, my same. computer is like a few days behind or something. I didn't see it. No, I didn't see it either. No. Well, we'll, we'll keep checking. We'll keep we'll checking. Keep an eye on it. Maybe it's yeah. TBD. Absolutely. Well, you know, because I, when I was watching a lot of Mariah's videos, like for MC30 and whatnot, and we talked about it in the back in time, you know, the videos for My All Stay A While, which, you know, are very rare, you know, videos. And, you know, back then there was no HD, but also the I Still Believe um, Pure Imagination video is up there, too. Oh, that's a good I'm one. Like, oh. That's a good one because I still have the, um, you know, the bootleg version of that video on my old hard drive, which is like, you know, the lowest of all quality. Uh -huh. And that's what I've been watching for years. So for it to be up on YouTube in crystal clear quality is amazing because I love it. Yes. That no, that's a great video. Yeah. Which is in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. The hair. And the sheep, the lamb. Yes. Oh, everything. Oh, the good hair, the good hair. Girl. Standing, she's in the town she, square, just yes, twirling. <laughs> standing in the time, town square, twirling. <laughs> beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's great. And then Debrat come bouncing through the car. Yes. And she throwing money around or something. I was like, all right, girl. <laughs> it's a good old time down there in the town. Yes, absolutely. They were having fun. So, yeah, I mean, that's there in HD. So we love that. Okay. But, good, good, know, good. It's good, good. Good times. Okay, so here's so there's like words on the street swirling around. Um, rumors are getting very heavy that there's going to be a new single in July. Have you seen that around? I have seen that around Twitter I street on on the streets, and I just the, I can't I can't get behind that because I don't I don't have any information. Yeah, same. Uh, the only thing that can like lead me to believing it is that the songwriter hall of fame is coming up in a couple of weeks, the induction ceremony. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so stuff's starting to buzz and swirl because of that. Well, hopefully um, we'll, we'll find out because um, she is going to be there in public, you know, so she's going to be saying things mm -hmm. and maybe she'll hint at, you know, a new release or new music coming. Yeah. Um, so that is happening on June 16th. Right, which is around the corner. Literally, right around the corner. And it's going to be held in New York City. Yes, and I'm going to be here. Should I go investigate? You absolutely should. What are you talking <laughs> about? Of course, girl. You better stand outside and see where she's doing, what she's doing, what's happening. Uh, we'll see. What day of the week is that? Uh, I think it's a Thursday. Oh, well, girl. It's a Thursday or Friday. You're busy. Well, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll do a Mariah report live from the scene. You might have to. You never know. You never know. But it's going to be a great event. There's going to be tons of people there. Mariah's being inducted along some great people. So she's in good company. And um, I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see what she's wearing, what her hair looks like. She's going to be gorgeous. I'm just uh, so yes. excited. Can't wait to hear the speech, too. Oh, you know it is gonna be good, girl. It's gonna be it a good one. Be good. It is, you know, her speeches. Um, you know, when she was like Woman of the Year for Variety, and then her Billboard Icon Award speech. Those were all great speeches. So this one, especially because it's songwriter, this is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be one for like you know, the top tier of all for all speeches. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was looking at friend to the show, Michaela Angela Davis's instagram page and she was posting some posts about how she's doing some late night writing sessions oh so i zoomed in and i saw the memoir on the desk so i'm wondering if she's work if she's helping out with the speech but she's working on something mariah related all right all right that is a good eye you got there always mm. getting the magnifying glass <laughs> you know you gotta zoom in <laughs> you got to to get the teats <laughs> Absolutely. I well, I hope uh, that Michaela Angela Davis is helping her because I think the two of them together, you know, they they craft such beautiful, you know, uh, language to put, you know, every to to package everything up in beautiful words and. 
phrases and whatever you do. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, speaking of Michaela Angela Davis and the memoir, we have to give a super big shout out to our listeners in Qatar. <laughs> Q-A-T-A-R. <laughs> I want to say Qatar. It's Qatar in the Middle East because we got our first podcast number one. We are number one on the uh, I, Apple podcast arts chart over there this week with the book club. The book club is going strong. Yes, the Mariah Book Report Club. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Whatever it. we called it. It's been so long. I'm like, what was that, Joe? Yes. Um, so they're listening to us over there, and we love it. So shout out to them, and, um, you know, keep listening. Yes. It's there. It's, it's there. great. Thanks so much for listening. We break as down always. all the chapters. Well, speaking of Apple iTunes, um, do we have any brand new reviews? We do. Um, so, you know, this also helps us with the charts as well here in America. And then more people can see us uh, out there on the podcast apps. And they know that people enjoy listening to Mariah Carey content. You know, it helps, helps the business for everybody. Um, so we have a couple of new reviews that I want to read out real quick. First one is from The Norma Jean. All and right, I, say, I like that name. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> it says, we are Lamely. Dan and Martin truly are one-of-a-kind lambs. They collect all the latest Mariah Carey news and help us digest it. So we, as lambs, can continue to support and share our shared favorite. They have a wonderful collection of shows with deep dives of multiple MC albums, too. It's wonderful to go back in time. Lastly, support them on their Patreon for more behind-the-scenes Mariah Carey details, rumors on music and projects, and so much more. Thank you all from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. All right. Thanks. That's a good that. one. I appreciate it. Yes. Shouting out the Patreon and everything over there. I know. Good Thank that. This All of this helps the show. The reviews, the Patreon, it's all helpful to us. You know, helps keeps us going over here. Yes, absolutely. We appreciate it. So thank you very much. Yeah, we have one more from Light Years. And they say, if Jermaine likes it, then I like it. Um, the Mariah Report is a reliable source of all your Mariah news, predictions, and vintage moments. Dan is a lovable host with an impressive catalog of Mariah info from years as a dedicated lamb stretching back to the early 90s. Martin brings yeah. that levity to the podcast along with an international and smart take on all things Mariah Carey. Together, these two create a cozy and safe atmosphere to discuss our favorite artists and celebrity. I often find myself wanting to interject into their conversations as if I'm a co-host. Give this podcast a listen and a follow. Yes. yes. Thank you so much for those. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. It, those are really good reviews, girl. They do. And when people leave a review, we do actually do see behind the scenes, like see our numbers go up a little bit and spikes on the charts, the podcast charts a little bit higher. So, you know, please keep it up because it really helps us out. Much appreciated. Yeah. Now. Okay. Should we take a quick splash break and then come back with some more like gossipy things? Let's do it. Okay. We're back from the splash break and still on the topic of Songwriter Hall of Fame. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So like we were saying, it's coming up right around the corner, June 16th. Uh, but they just released Rollingstone.com just released and I think announced um, uh, that she's gonna, she's doing an NFT. Now we've mm -hmm. discussed an NFT before. We're still not quite sure what it is. What is it, Martin? Mm hmm. <laughs> And it's now supporting pass. So absolutely <laughs> nothing. We have no idea. What, we still do not understand this concept of what an NFT is. But I guess I think it's like a piece of artwork that people can now create and then you use cryptocurrency to own them. So okay. It's like just digital artwork. In my mind, okay. can somebody explain this? Go to our Apple podcast page and leave a review <laughs> with an explanation as to what. Please, please, or email us or DM us or tweet us or something. Tell us what it is, because from my understanding, like you were saying, Martin, it is a digital piece of art. Okay, I get that. I'm there with you. Uh, okay, you buy it with Bitcoin or something. Okay, I got that too. Gotcha. But I just, what are you doing with it? And how is it? how is it special to you? Especially because a lot of this stuff is like very pricey. It costs a lot of money, but I'm like, girl, 
who well once it's online once it's on the internet anybody has access to it so like what does it matter if you own an nft which i believe stands for a non-fungible token Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) if i'm wrong i'm wrong but my whole point is like okay so you got the nft and when you like you could just anybody could take it use it print it take a picture of it like do whatever they want with it because it's on the internet right but i think you i think you do something with it in the metaverse slash virtual virtual reality now what is that <laughs> <laughs> these are a lot of questions and we're not not qualified this is the mariah report not the tech Biz yes, or whatever. But, you know mariah's over here um talking about all this stuff so we need to know but okay so there's a couple things that were mentioned in the rolling stone article okay well do you want me to like let's do the intro it says mariah carey is entering the crypto space with the launch of her very first nft and in true diva fashion the winner of the nft will get a full-on experience okay i love Designed. this it sounds very exciting Yes, designed like a boarding pass on Butterfly Airways, the NFT includes an opportunity to meet Carrie and fly with her on a private jet to New York later this month when the music legend is inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. The winner, bidder, and a guest will also get to sit with Carrie at her table during the actual induction ceremony. This is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous fabulous so i guess you're bidding for the nft but then you get like a real thing if you win you get an experience but that has the experience is real life the nft is basically a picture of something on your computer yeah i I don't know maybe put it on your desktop and just look at it maybe it's a screensaver maybe that's what you do with it maybe that's what you do with it i don't know you know people who have those really big tvs and they like look like picture frames maybe that's what you do with it Oh, put it yes. as a screensaver, and then it's like art. Okay. Maybe maybe that's what you do. Okay, well, here's what you're going to bid on. So the actual NFT asset, meantime, is a spinning boarding pass in Carrie's signature pink yet lavender colorway and accented with glitter. The artist will also create a custom audio recording to go along with the NFT release. Okay, all right. I'm I'm vibing with all of this. This is a great experience, a great prize. Now, we do have photos of um, what the boarding pass looks like, and it's super cute. Of course, love it. Super cute. She loves a boarding pass. Remember the GTFO boarding pass? Oh, she loves a boarding pass. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. It is. It's, yes, she loves a boarding pass. Not mad about that. But yeah, okay, so all of that is cute and fun. Um, but still, I'm still not sure about what the NFT is. But continue um, with what they're what they are um, saying over there at Rolling Stone. Okay, but to your point, so there's a photo of the boarding pass on in this article. What's stopping me from just saving it to my phone and now projecting it to my Apple my TV? And now exactly. I have the NFT. I don't understand it at all. It doesn't make any sense to me. But the picture doesn't spin. I guess it spins somehow. Do you need an NFT player? Is there an NFT player? (laughs) Is that a thing? I don't know. (laughs) I don't know. I do not know. But it just shows the front and the back of the boarding pass. That's it. Because there's two different sides to it. Yeah. But I still just don't. I don't get it. But whatever. But I think in the article, correct me if I'm wrong, but it says the you you have it's a bid. So you have to bid for the NFT. You can't just buy it outright. Because it's like a thing. Um, and the bid starts at $5,000. Yeah, bidding for the Mariah Carey NFT launches on June 3rd via okay. GeoJam. She's back with the GeoJam folk. Mm-hmm. Well, yes, because she says that she's a partner with them, yes. doesn't she? A crypto-based econo- economy platform that Carey is an investor in. Yes, you're right. Yes, yes, yes. She's putting <laughs> her money in there. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bidding starts at $5,000. The bidding ends June 9th with the Songwriter Hall of Fame experience taking place on June 15th and 16th. A portion of the proceeds of the sale will benefit the Fresh Air Fund. Okay, okay, I love that. Absolutely love that. Yes. Okay, well, now I'm thinking, well, this is very interesting because you're flying with Mariah to 
New York for the Songwriter Hall of Fame. But like, what if you live in Seattle? Get yourself to wherever she is. You got to get to where she is, right? That's yeah. a lot of logistics. And you got very few days to throw all that together. Yeah. You do have very few days to throw that very together. Few days. <laughs> <laughs> I would just say, listen, I'll meet you in New York. Well, yeah, but don't you want to fly with Mariah? No, I do, but I don't know. Can she pick me up? See, what well, exactly. <laughs> Can she pick me up? Girl, I can't be flying here, there, everywhere just to get to her, just to fly somewhere else. Because, like, also, what if the winner lives in New York already? You have to go back down and then come back. That's too much traveling, girl, but this is still a great But you experience. do it. But, but you, you do, do it. it, of course, because it's Mariah. Um, so all of this sounds am- amazing, and she's gonna like do a voice, a uh, MP3 or something for I you guess as an well. Exclusive situation. I love that. Um, all right, all right. I mean, Mariah's getting into it. Well, it sounds okay. I know this sounds shocking, but the price of it actually sounds reasonable if you want to go to the Songwriter Hall of Fame event because that's sort of like the going rate of tickets anyway. That is true. That is true. You know, and even, you know, the flight of a, uh, the cost of a flight, package that in with, you know, private jet flight, mm-hmm. dinner at the songwriting hall of fame, you know, thing that Mariah's costume. hourly rate for entertainment. Uh, yeah. When you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> all the mathematics together, yes. you're like, all right, you know, very reasonable. So it's very reasonable. And so you get an NFT and NFT at the end. Yeah, exactly. That everyone else has and every lamb uh, probably has it as their screensaver on their phone now. But whatever. Yes. It's yours. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it sounds like a great thing because it sort of reminds me of a lot of the times, uh, you know, especially like, you know, uh, Butterfly, Rainbow, or Charm Bracelet era where Mariah would like, you know, when she released the Rainbow album, remember when she took an entire plane full of fans from New York to... I think Chicago or something like that. And she was just flying around with all the fans. I know. I don't remember that. What? You don't remember that. (laughs) (laughs) Well, we might have to do it back in time. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Like I think she was, I mean, she she did the MTV special or something like that for the album release. And then like she flew, I think to Chicago or something like that, or maybe it was LA. I can't remember, but yeah, she did stuff like that. So it sounds very much like, you know, things and contests and giveaway that she's done before, but now there's an NFT involved okay. and probably tens of thousands of dollars, but that's fine. Interesting. Very interesting. Yes. Very interesting indeed. Okay. What here's I the think... question for our listeners. Cause you know, our listeners are pretty smart. They know things. Yes. Once let's pretend we purchased the NFT. We now own this boarding pass. Can someone tell us what to do with it? Once we own it. <laughs> Maybe that will help us explain the, you know, the concept. We'll understand please, it better. Please, please, somebody, what do you do with it? I just don't get it. Like, it's confusing to me. But in that article, um, you know, uh, from RollingStone.com, Mariah was saying that she recently has silently been getting into the NFT whole crypto side of things. And I blame that. I don't know if it's blame, but I put all of that on Brian Tanaka. Mm-hmm. Because he's one who would know about those things. So we might have to call him and have him explain it to us. Okay, that's a good idea. That's It's all him. And now he's getting Mariah into it. So I'm confused, but I love it. My concern is that this whole crypto, Bitcoin, NFT biz is just one big hoax. It definitely sounds very cultish. Right. I'm going to well, stick to my GTFO boarding pass for now. Yeah, exactly. It's on the, the bridge. It's on, it's on the bridge. For free. Um, <laughs> but anyways, that's something else to look forward to, you know, in the coming weeks of whoever wins or gets that or bids for that. And I like, I, I want to hear their experience. We might have to find out who it is and uh, get them on the show here. Yeah. So if you're out there listening and you got, you win it, please let us know. We want to hear all about it. All the lambs will want to know. So. Oh, I'm sure it would be super fun. Well, I wonder if they're going to be serving Black Irish at this event, the Songwriter Hall of Fame event. Apparently there's a new release or something announcement is coming up. You were telling me. Well, yeah, because, um, well, Black Irish, uh, you sign up for their newsletter. There was a new picture that they released. Remember a few months ago, we got a picture of her modeling the um, Black Irish bottles and stuff. Yes. And the hair was gorgeous and everything. We got a new photo from that session. So that's super cute. Love that. Yes, yes. 
Um, but they said when you sign up for the newsletter, they were saying like, uh, you know, go to the website. The website, um, well, actually the website looks good, but when I went to it, you couldn't click on anything and all the photos didn't load. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> those jank. maybe it's coming later. I don't know. <laughs> um, so I couldn't see anything. But um, but in the newsletter, it did say that there was like some sort of special announcement coming next week or there's something happening. And I was like, all right, well, I hope the website's working by then, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Maybe it was me, but I checked it on both my computers and my phone, girl, and not a single one of those was nothing was loading, girl. So it was down for the moment. Okay. <laughs> it... <laughs> um, I wonder what it could be. Do you think it's a new flavor? It's probably a new drink, a, a recipe. Like a recipe? Yeah, probably. They or love like a, a baked good? What about a baked good? I would be down for a baked good. A little salted caramel cookie or something. Yeah. <laughs> I sure would. <laughs> oh, poor messy black Irish. Oh, she's, but she's good. She's good. We she's love good. her. She's we good. do love her. We do love her. And also, you know, um, obviously it's Mariah's brand. She's, you know, put a lot of money into it but it's interesting now we have mariah being um a, an investor in geo jam mm -hmm. once again i have no idea what that is but she's investing over there she's investing in this liquor you know she's created this liquor mm -hmm. um so she's putting her money in like these other things which i sort of love seeing you know what mm -hmm. i mean and it's not just like a, a product placement like you know or an endorsement of a product like she's you know, she's on the board of Geo Jam. Is that what it said? I think so. She's a businesswoman. Yeah, she's honey, a businesswoman. She's doing it. Yeah. So I love, I love that whole aspect of um, what Mariah's doing outside of music. Yeah. No, it's great. It uh, is. Great to see. It absolutely is. So we've got the Black Irish announcement. Do you think we're going to get a new music announcement anytime soon? Mm -mm. No. You don't. Still no. no. No, I have no confidence in that at all. <laughs> For some odd reason, I just don't think it's coming. Even though I keep saying it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. I really, I'm just trying to tell myself that. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll see. Oh yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we'll we'll see and hear a lot of Mariah in the you know two weeks or less from now when she goes to this event. So it's going to be big, mm -hmm. and um, it will be a fun night, fun time. Okay, the looks. I wonder what the looks are going to be. The oh, hair. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. It's going to multiple be good. outfit changes. Do you think? Oh. Are we done with that? We're probably done with that. That takes a lot of work, girl. It does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, it will be good times. So um, you know, we'll be reporting on that. Definitely. Sure will. Sure um, will. Outside of that, that pretty much wraps things up, except for some, you know, Mariah adjacent news. We got a little bit going on there. Um, you know, Mariah's uh, good old friend Derek Jeter has entered into the world of social media. Well, first of all, I don't check on him like that, so I didn't even know he wasn't not on social media. Honey, I have no idea what he's doing, where he's doing, and how many Twitter accounts he has. I have no clue. Uh -huh. Um, but you know, so I guess it popped up on the social media and he was like, oh, you know, I survived my first day of, uh, of Twitter and whatnot. But then I guess he was like taking questions or he was just maybe responding and he was doing this in video form. Like he was mm. like posting little videos. Did you see them? No. Um, well, one of them, somebody asked, um, what his favorite, Oh, no. year as a or favorite moment or favorite you know whatever i do they call them years or seasons they call them seasons of sports. right yeah in sports he, they're like what's season. your what, yeah. what was your favorite season uh with the yankees yeah because i think the season happens like it's like one season in the year so you go oh my favorite season was 2007 or whatever yeah yeah. Does that make yeah. sense? Does that sound like it sports? Sense. Yeah, it sounds sounds legitimate to me. Okay. And so I found it really interesting, and I'm probably reading too much into this because I'm a crazy lamb. But he said, oh, my favorite seasons were 96, 98, 99, 2000, 2001. And I was like, bitch, did you just skip 1997? You skipped over that whole Mariah moment. Come on now. Really? Well, because I think it was in early 97 
when it all went down. Because I remember back in the day, you know, we've seen the pictures of Mariah, like at the Yankees game with Sean, her nephew. Yeah. I think there were like headlines in the newspapers saying that be, that Mariah was a distraction to him and he wasn't playing the game very well. They always blame the woman. They always blame the woman because Mariah would like, you know, be sitting over there in the stands or something and blah, 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 and distracting him or, you know, just, you know, breaking him off some good stuff, you know, after the game or whatnot. And his <laughs> head's no longer in the game. <laughs> so I think that um, maybe that was not a good season of his, but I was like, uh, that correlates to the Mariah relationship that year that you forgot to mention. <laughs> Interesting. Blaming Mariah, as always. The nerve. The nerve. Well, anyway, he's now on socials, I guess. Well, we'll see what he'll what he'll do. I mean, I, he must be bored. Yeah. <laughs> I must mean, be. I mean, must be. I mean, if, if you've made it this long without being on Twitter or Instagram or something, who cares? <laughs> like, girl, you... You've made it all this time, and now all of a sudden, uh, so I don't know, but... I know, know, I know. Wish him well. The the one snippet I did see, he said he was living in Miami, so I'm like, okay, he's down there now, I guess. Oh, okay. Oh, I hear a lot of sports people live in the Miami, even if they don't play in Miami. Huh. Must be a sports vibe down there. I guess. I don't know. But I just thought I'd bring that up because I was like, that is very interesting. Good old Derek Jeter. Popped Um, up out of nowhere. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) But he's doing well. So that's all good. It's all good. Oh, and we just did our Butterfly series too. Maybe we summoned him by accident. Yes, yes. He was feeling I mean, our Butterfly MC back in time, MC30. But I think that's pretty much it for this week's episode. Um, We will, of course, keep you up to date with all the Mariah news. Yeah, I think stuff's coming. I know we say that, but with the <laughs> Songwriter Hall of Fame on the horizon, like that's a big moment in itself. That is going to be a huge moment. So it'll be it'll be good. We'll have plenty to talk about. Yes, and don't forget, if you are listening to this, please go and hit follow on your podcast app. That helps the show grow, helps other people find us. It helps the charts, um, get us, gets us some chart action. And please take a few moments to head over to the Apple Podcast app type in the Mariah Report, scroll down, and then leave us a review. It can be short, it can be long, it can be whatever you like, but that also helps us out and helps the show grow as well. Absolutely. And don't forget that we also have a YouTube channel. So if you want to see this podcast and our beautiful faces, you can head over there and subscribe and like and view and watch and share and all that kind of stuff. It's a good time. Yep, sure is. All right, well, thanks for hanging out. Go check out our Patreon page too, where you can get bonus content. The link is in the description. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye. The Mariah Report is produced and edited by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Hosted by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Graphics created by Sean Mark. Theme music created by E. Reezy B. Thank you to the listeners who support the show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, visit the show notes in your podcast app.